We're waiting, we're waiting. And once you're back into your Pi, your desktop is back. Ah, feels good. Now, what we'd like to do, let's go ahead and check and make sure that we did everything right and saved and everything's hunky-dory. So what we're going to want to type in here is uh, the same thing we kind of did before that was giving us a zero. VCGen uh, CMD get underscore config arm underscore frequency. And now, as you can see, it is definitely reading at 800, so we did save that uh, correctly. And uh, you might notice a slight increase of your performance. Now, there's also other things that you can do, um, like overclocking your RAM. So how would we do that if we wanted to overclock the RAM? Well, same thing. We're going to pop into that. Let me move the mouse. sudo nano slash boot slash config dot text. And that should bring up our file, and then again, we'll just put it kind of with our other overclock setting here. Uh, let's go over and down. And so now what you can do is SD RAM underscore frequency. And you can set this, let's say, I, I think the default is at 200, so we can set this to 300. So now we say, oops, I'm sorry, I hit Control S. Sorry, that's not what I want to do. I'm too used to operating on like Windows. X off, ignored, mumble, mumble. I don't even know what I did. Anyway, exit, we're going to save and uh, save it to the same file. And uh, let's run this again real quick. And we want to get the SD RAM frequency. So as you can see, it's reading zero because we haven't synced. So let's try sync. So zero. Uh, we'll do... I'm just really hoping to avoid another shutdown, but let's just try see this thing one more time. No. Okay, so we're going to have to go through the entire, that entire process again. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm just going to type it out really quick. So, um, and actually, I think all we really have to do is, is shut down and restart, to be honest. That ought to do it. But anyway, just, just in case you, you need to go through the sync process, we'll just do it really quick. So sudo sync, sudo sh dash, oops. Dash C and echo version three slash proc slash sys slash vm slash drop underscore caches. Should be good. Next thing we want to do sudo cp slash group slash config dot text. And we want to do it to slash boot slash config dot text.save and to just go up to the next like the line you previously typed is sent up the up arrow by the way I don't think I mentioned that a second ago now sudo sync sync exit okay open it one more time back up we'll run a, a sudo sync a sync and then we're going to shut it down oops sudo shut down minus h next Goodbye. Alright guys, so once you've actually restarted, um, open up the LX terminal one last time. And what we want to do is check uh, the RAM, and then while we're at it, we'll just check the CPU one last time. But you should probably have noticed that your terminal ran a little bit quicker, upload or came up a little bit quicker for you, but anyway, VCGENCMD get underscore config. And then you want um, your SD RAM underscore frequency. And as you can see, now it is reading 300. Same thing we can do uh, with our um, ARM. An ARM is just in reference to your processor, what you're, you're running an ARM processor. Anyway, so now that's 800. We are now successfully overclocked, and we did it all by ourselves. Yay! Now... If, um, if you want to know how to get into your Raspberry Pi configuration anyways, because it is actually pretty beneficial to, to at least know what's possible, um, I will now show you that real quick. If you don't have uh, a new version of uh, Raspberry Pi and you haven't got the latest version of the um, uh, 
Raspberry Pi firmware, then what you'll want to do is the following command. I'm not going to enter it myself, but if you don't have it, then this would be the command that you would do. sudo apt, and you want to get update, and then and and sudo apt dash get, and then you want to install Raspberry Pi everything, and uh, raspy dash config. Now, this kind of, uh, let me see here real quick if I can, there we go. Nice one line for you if you don't have the latest version of your firmware. So anyway, back to big boy litters. Uh, the next thing that we want to do uh, is pull up that configuration utility and the way that we're going to do that is sudo raspi dash uh, config. And that pulls up that car. It's, it's not a BIOS, but it just kind of reminds me of a BIOS. So this is kind of the thing that you saw the first time you installed your um, operating system. So here you can edit your user password. You can enable boot to desktop, which I don't recommend. You could do the uh, camera. But then anyway, we get down to overclock. And you come into overclock, and it just warns you that you could reduce the lifetime of your Raspberry Pi. Um, now, the only thing I will just say on top of this is what kills a processor over time is heat and heat only pretty much I guess water could do it too <laughs> but um, this is badass I want to do like 900 and 250 anyway um, so heat is what does it so right now if you've got no case right you're just kind of free airing it um, the Raspberry Pi it should stay you know relatively cool but the best way to keep your Raspberry Pi cool is to have it by a fan or something that is going to continue moving away the hot air. So you can put your finger, don't touch it, but you can put your finger over your processor and you can feel that it's giving off heat. So the best thing for you to do is to move that heat immediately once it comes off of the processor. Um, so anyway, uh, that's that. That's pretty much everything you need to know when it comes to uh, overclocking and you know how to do it yourself or to just use the settings that they give you I want this okay give me this overclock thank you I'm done so anyway uh, just keep that in mind when you do overclock uh, that it's highly likely that your well your pro it's only it's certain that your processor will run hotter so just keep that in mind as you um, as you you know kind of play around with your overclocking so anyways, that's going to conclude the overclocking uh, tutorial. As always, thanks for watching. Hopefully uh, you guys learned something about your new toy. Thank you for your support and your subscriptions. And until next time.